Hi guys, I'm back again with this unique Windows desktop customization and now I'm going to show you how to get this done on your Windows desktop. Welcome to this channel, let's get straight to it. Now first of all, we're going to hide these desktop icons, just right click on your desktop and go to view, then we're going to select show desktop icons. We're going to tidy this tax bar real quick, just right click on here then go on to tax bar settings. Now we're going to remove some of this widget from this tax bar. Starting from this tax view, I'm going to toggle this off. Now as you can see, when I toggle it off, it's not there anymore. And I'm going to do the same to widget. Just toggle this off. That is gone. And I'm going to go right here to pen menu. Now go on to search. On the search box, just going to drop this down. Change to hide. Now as you can see, we have a more attractive tax bar. Now I'll continue on to the next step. I'm going to close this. Now we're going to change this wallpaper, go on to a browser. All the links I'll be using in this video will be given to you in the description, okay? In this website, free pick, I have chosen this image and of course you can use any image of your choice. Many free images you can download from here. Go ahead to this right side here and click on this download icon. Just click on free download. Now we navigate to the file location and here in downloads we can see this image right here. Just right click on it and set as desktop background. Proceed to the desktop and now you can see that we have this beautiful looking wallpaper. The next thing we're going to do right now is to add some blur effect right here. I'm going to go to the browser and proceed to this website windoc.net. Straight up go to this link here and download it. Now proceed to run this setup. Minimize this. So this is the installer for the windoc. Just click on OK. And I'm going to select next, next and install give you some time to install click on finish now we've installed windoc just navigate to explore click on that and we have many options here so the first option we're going to choose right now is this windows 11 tax bar styler just go on to details click on install you're going to get this notification don't worry about it this is safe to install actually just proceed to click on this after the installation, go to settings. Right here on the theme, we're going to drop this down. Of all these options, we're going to choose translucent taskbar. Okay. Then click on save settings. Now, as you can see, we have this translucent taskbar. Okay. It gives our taskbar this beautiful blur effect. We're not done yet. We're going to proceed to the next one. We're going to go back to explore. Now, under Windows 11 Start Menu Styler, we're going to go to details, install, accept risk and install. After installation, again, we'll go to settings. Then I'm going to drop this down on the theme. Now we're going to choose translucent start menu. Then go on to save settings. Let me minimize this. Now if we open our start menu, you can see we have this beautiful translucent task menu. Okay. This is awesome. Looking good already, but we're not done yet. So I'm going to go back to Windock and we're going to go to explore. I'm going to do about the same thing to this Windows 11 Notification Center Styler. I'm going to go on to Details. Now Install. Accept Risk and Install. Go to Settings. On the theme, we're going to drop this down. And I'm going to choose Translucent Shell. Select that and go to Save Settings. Now minimize this. If we open all this here, we have this Translucent Notification Center right here, which is looking awesome. Now we're done with Windoc. I'm just going to close it. Now we're going to proceed to the next step, which is Rain Meter Download. So go back to the browser here in rainmeter.net. I'm going to navigate down here and click on the download icon. Once that's done, just go ahead straight up, click on the setup, click on OK, next, install, select finish. You will get this welcome skins. We're going to remove them. Just right click on it and go to unload skin. Do the same for everything. Right click, unload skin, right click, unload skin. All right. So now we've downloaded Remeter. Now we want to add some Remeter skins to this desktop. Okay. I'm going to go back to the browser and we're going to download these three skins. Okay. We're going to be using just three skins for this video. All right. The first one is the drop top four. Just go ahead to this download icon, click on it. So we have two options here. You have this basic, which is free and we have the other one. Okay. So we're going for the free one. Just click on get drop top. 
it says Raymeter must be installed first. Because we already installed Raymeter, we don't have to worry about that. Select I have it already. So that's done. We'll go to the next Raymeter skin here, which is Monterey. Okay, we're going to scroll down on the right side here. We're going to select latest. Click on latest. I'm going to scroll down again. Select the first option here. Click on that. All right, proceed to the last one, Frost Remeter Skin. Let's scroll down here and select Download on this left side. Click on that. So after downloading all the skins, we're going to go ahead to the file location, okay? Let me minimize this. So we don't get confused. I'm going to delete all these unwanted setup files. Now we're left with these three Remeter Skins. The first one I'm going to download right now is the Drop Top Basic, all right? Just double click on that. Select install. Select continue. We have options to choose language. I'm going to select English Britain. Continue. Select desktop only. So you have all these options. I'm going to select desktop. And here, I'm going to type in your city, okay? For the sake of this video, I'm going to type in London. Continue. Select the first one here, default. To select maybe later finish setup so now we have this drop top here I'm gonna skip tutorial just click on that we're gonna make some slight changes right here first of all right click on here now I'm gonna select adjust size settings choose mini 3 it's gonna ask to restart the program just click on this so now this is smaller and looking pretty cool, all right? So we're going to do one more thing right here. Just right click on here. I'm going to go to drop top settings. Under drop top settings, go to options, go to shape, divide bar into sections. Now this is looking good already, but we're not done yet. We're going to the next Raymeter skin. And the next one right here is Monterey. I'm going to click on this. Just double click on that. Select install. Right here, we have this Monterey settings. So I'm going to add some widgets from here to the desktop, okay? And the first one I want to add here is the clock. I'm just going to toggle this on. I'm going to bring it right here first. And the next one is the calendar. Bring it to the right side. Monitoring. Here. Weather. Okay, I'm just going to leave it there first. I'll go on to music and drag it right here and go to volume. Now we have all the skins we're going to use right here and I'm going to make some changes on this skin. Okay. So the first one is the clock. I'm just going to right click on the clock and I'm going to select white. Then bring it down here on the calendar. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. The monitoring, just right click on it and select white. The weather, right click on it, select white. Bring it to the right side here. Actually, I want the weather to be up there. So yeah, music, make it white to the left side. Here we have the volume, gonna make it medium. Okay, gonna bring it to the left side here. Okay, now before we position this widget properly, I'm gonna do some changes right here at appearance. Just go to appearance and guys you have to make sure this is on blur and just in case you don't get this blur effect you have to make sure your transparency effect is turned on now i'm going to reduce the size okay we're going to change this to 65 tap on enter now i'm going to position this widget properly so once we're done with this old setup we can close this right click on this weather and go to edit weather here, we're going to change this to your city. Type your city name. I'm going to type in London. Tap on enter. Click on save. Now, this is looking good already, but we're not done yet. We're going to go to the final step, which is to install this visualizer Frost. Double click on Frost. Select install. As I speak, you can see some movement going on around here. Let me drag it to this side. This is the visualizer. So now I'm going to make this go upside down. Okay. I'm going to select this second one here, this minus one. Just click on that. All right. So now as you can see, when I click that, it's just where we want it to be. I'm not satisfied with this color, so I'm going to change it. I'm going to click right here. Just click on this color right here. 
oops so here we have all these colors we can select okay so i want to go for the blue one click on this blue side here okay just keep clicking around here to see which one you like i think this one is good enough this is just nice okay so uh, now that we're done with this setting i'm just going to x on this i'm going to close this right here i'm going to right click on this and select unload skin so guys that will be all for now i hope you find this video helpful if you do leave it a like subscribe to this channel turn on your notification so you get notified whenever i post content like this have a nice day. Peace out.